Hi everyone, my name's Harley. Welcome to Trans by Death. Um, today's topic is bathrooms. Um, sorry I'm looking a little messed up. I just had a nap and I woke up and I was like, you know, I need to do this video. So, so um, yeah. Anyways, so today's topic is bathrooms. Um, the real question is, which one do you use? You know, like, I'm transgender, which one do I use? And, you know, there's a lot of situations to this. Um, my personal belief is use the one you feel most comfortable with. And what I mean by that is the one you feel more secure about using, the one that is okay, you know, the one you feel secure about using, really, um, and comfortable because if you don't feel comfortable about using a female bathroom or a male bathroom, then why use it? You know, you shouldn't feel uncomfortable using it. So that's just some advice. Um, um, all right, but you know, I'll keep moving on into more details about this. Um, one thing is, it's important to know the law of the bathroom um, for wherever you stay in. Um, the thing is, it's like, you know. I'm in a, you know, United States, so there's a state, county law for protecting gender identity, and fortunately I reside in one of those, you know, so I am technically protected by the law in that sense, um, so that's good, but, you know, I mean, I'm sure if the law didn't, you know, um, I'm sure if the law didn't protect it, I probably still would use the female bathroom, because that's the one I feel most comfortable with. Um, one thing is, when I first started transitioning, I didn't feel comfortable using the female bathroom. Um, you know, there was, you know, the reasons of like, well, I'm starting transition, I don't feel like I pass, I don't think, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting clocked all the time, and for that reason, I was like, you know, if, if there was a unisex bathroom, I would have used it, and that's kind of the way it goes. Um, that's probably what I would have done, but you know, personally, I just held, hold, held it till I got home. You know, I never really wanted to use a unisex bathroom. Um, but say, you know, you want to use that gender bathroom, but you're kind of scared, and you want to get over that insecure feeling, you know, and you just want to, you know, go in there and get used to it. Because, you know, honestly, at first you're going to be a little um, scared, you know, about going in there. So, one, some, could, some good tips is to, you know, go with a friend, you know, make it quick, don't look suspicious, and leave, you know. Um, those are like the, the tips I would say, you know. I had my sister, fortunately, so she, um, she helped me through that, that phase, and I'm, you know, I'm in debt with her because that was... You know, that was really hard to um, get used to, was like being comfortable with that and worrying about what's going to happen. I remember when I first was in there, I would stay in the stall for a long time until everyone leave, but not all the time that happens. Like one time I went to um, this um, area that is owned by Disney and the, there was only one bathroom in that whole entire region. and everyone went to that bathroom and there was no I mean you're gonna get noticed and I was like fuck I'm like so like I'm waiting on line and all these girls are in front of me behind me and I'm like shit if I get clocked this is gonna be the worst feeling because they didn't have any unisex bathrooms so I was just waiting and it actually worked out pretty well and it was pretty funny but I was with my sister too so that was even better so I was like oh my god you know but you know, anyways, you know, those are some kind of tips. Um, speaking of the unisex bathroom, um, I do want to get into that. Um, you know, personally, I believe the unisex bathroom should, you know, should only, you know, some good reasons for the unisex bathroom is like family use, you know, when there's, um, you know, parents trying to take their kids to the bathroom, you know, there's a family bathroom, um, or if all bathrooms are unisex, you know, that's a good thing. Or even for some transgenders who feel really insecure about using the, the gender identified bathroom because 
maybe based on the location or worried that they're going to get clocked or you know they just have a bad feeling you know and they want to use that and I mean I I really believe in that you know of the unisex bathroom the one thing I do see that is probably not so good about the unisex bathroom is I'm starting to see it become segregated for transgenders um, I know I know there's a lot of um, universities that are opening unisex bathrooms for transgenders and it, it's got me worried a little bit because it's like now you have male female transgender bathrooms you know I don't want that I mean I'm not raising any alarms here but I mean I'm starting to feel that it's a little segregated now um, and I feel uncomfortable with that um, to be honest with you um, my job actually wants me to use the unisex bathroom when I go full-time and I'm a little worried about that because that's actually making me feel a little uncomfortable um, so I'm actually gonna try to fight that myself I mean my county law protects it so I will be you know pulling that law out and showing them um, because truthfully I shouldn't be forced to use a unisex bathroom um, I just feel that that's really segregating me from everyone else and that's the way I feel and so anyways that's kind of that I'm, I'm afraid that unisex bathrooms are going to start turning into transgender bathrooms you know and um, I don't want that to happen you know and I think you know if if it really it's not supposed to matter then all bathrooms should be unisex you know but you know there shouldn't be any difference between you know a gay man in a male's bathroom and a lesbian in a male in a female's bathroom and there shouldn't be any difference with that regarding a transgender in their gender identified bathroom um you know there's that's that you know so anyways um, but to wrap this all up um, like I said you know use the bathroom that you feel most comfortable with that you don't feel like you're gonna get clocked or worry about using this bathroom so use the one that you feel comfortable with um, when I first started transitioning my therapist told me to use the unisex bathroom when I can and if I need to use the female bathroom make it quick you know that was like the first advice I got and to be honest with you I took that advice a little bit but I never really used the unisex bathroom I just held it you know but you know to be honest with you you know whatever one you feel comfortable with um so that's gonna be a wrap um I'll see you guys later bye I gotta stop it bye <laughs>